It is the ACC championship game. Winner take all. Clemson at number one in the country, 11 and one. Miami at number seven at 10 and one. What else could you ask for? We bring in Cam Underwood from State of the U who breaks down Miami football for us on a regular basis and provides some tremendous analysis. And Cam, we are counting on you for this one. So what is the feeling, injuries aside, that we'll get to in just a second, all of that aside, but Miami being in the league for a number of years, finally getting to the ACC championship game. Yes, you knew it was coming. It was locked up a couple weeks ago, but finally the game is here and a lot riding on the line for the crown of the ACC and also to get to a college football playoff berth facing the number one team in the country. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and, uh, you know, I feel good, um, feel strong, you know, I'm ready uh, and everything. I've been waiting for this moment for a long, long time. Uh, you know, like we've been in the conference for, I don't know, 13 years now, 14 years, and uh, wh- whatever number of years, but we've never been to the ACC championship game before. Um you know, so this is a this is a good time for Miami Hurricanes football, um, especially you know in the wake of what's going on in Gainesville and potentially Tallahassee with you know their coaching situations and the way that their seasons went and everything. And this has just been a perfect storm, no pun intended, for the Hurricanes uh, just to really have a resurgent season this year. So you know, obviously disappointed with the outcome on last week Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, really, just played a poor game all the way throughout and lost our first game of the year, uh, which is the first game that we've lost in almost 13 months. Um, But yeah, you know, uh, overall, really a strong season and feel really uh, good about this team. Feel very happy for this team as well, because all of the seniors who came here and the juniors as well, uh, they've seen some tough times. Um, And it's not, it was not always um, the Miami of old, the, the you of, uh, you know, Sean Taylor, Ed Reed, Vince Wilfork, and all those guys who whose names you know. The U, when the seniors and juniors committed and came to Miami, was not that same caliber of program. So seeing them go through uh, some really tough times and a lot of losses, uh, even to some, some bad teams that Miami should have never lost to, like a Cincinnati on the road, you know, um, barely snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, even though that victory should have been a blowout against Nebraska a couple years ago, things like that. But seeing that group really be the leaders of this team that has come to the forefront of college football again for a variety of reasons and at 10-1 and and ranked seventh and going up against the number one team in America this weekend has a chance to catapult themselves into a college football playoff in 2017-18. It's really great. So I'm very excited. Uh, about it. I'm very happy for the players. Um, obviously, you know, don't like uh, all of the injuries that we've been sustaining or that the players have been sustaining that we're going to talk about. But overall, I don't see how you can have any other view of this season than a overwhelming positive for the Miami Hurricanes. And that's where I am. And I'm really excited to uh, be heading up to Charlotte myself for the ACC championship game this Saturday to see my Hurricanes take on the Clemson Tigers.